morning. Thank you for joining us. Let's go and explore God's animal kingdom. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to our theme on God's animal kingdom. I hope you're ready to explore a new animal with us today. Pierre is with us to give us five fun facts on our new animal, so listen out for those. And Alf, our new favourite friend, is with us today again to do a lovely new game with us to get us moving and up off the sofa. So enjoy that. Have a great morning. Bye. Good morning, J247. It's me, Alf. Bread from Australia's least famous zoo, or ALFs for short. Thank you for joining me today for another game. Are you ready to play? We're going to play a game called Flamingo Stop Go. Ha! I'm going to give you three instructions. You're going to obey them. When I shout Flamingo, you're going to go, go, go around your room and move, move, move. I don't care how or for how long. Until, of course, I shout Sloth. In which case you're going to move really slowly as if someone's got you on some sort of slow motion camera. And then three, I'm going to shout hibernate and you're going to curl up on the floor as if you're going to sleep to hibernate for the whole winter season. Okay, are you ready? That's your three instructions. That's all you have to obey. Up onto your feet. Let's play the game, shall we? Flamingo! Go, go, go. Move around your room. Move around, J247. This is your time to get those wriggles out. Are you ready? Let's get going. Come on. Go, go, go. Second instruction coming up. Sloth. Move like a sloth. I want you to go real slow as if you're walking through some sort of treacle. Mm, treacle tart would be great right now, wouldn't it? Anyway, moving real slow because you're moving like a sloth. Are you ready? Let's try another one. Hibernate. Mm, curl up on the floor and go to sleep, guys. Curl up. Mm, that's it. Are you all curled up? Are you sleeping? Well, you shouldn't be answering me if you're sleeping, should you? Because you should be asleep anyway. Flamingo! Go! Go! Let's move around the room again. Oh, yeah. I love seeing you move around like that. That's great. Come on, people. Move. Keep moving. Flamingo! Flamingo! Go around your room. That's it. Now hibernate. Curl up again as if you're asleep for the winter time. Curl up. That's it. Well done, that's it. Stop flamingo and curl up. That's it, well done. We got there, didn't we? We had some doubts at some point. Are we all hibernating? Are we all still? Right, let's sloth. Let's move slowly. Slowly. Like we're waking up from a long winter of rest. Yeah, that's it. Move around your room slowly. And now, Flamingo! <laughs> Have some fun. This is the last bit of wriggling we're doing. <laughs> flamingo, go, go! Yeah, enjoy it. That's right. Woo, that's enough for you, J247. Stop now. You can stop where you are. In fact, right now, we're gonna sing to Jesus, so I'd love you to stay on your feet and let's sing at the top of our voices. Hey, thanks for joining me. See you next week. I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm.
Friday 24 7. I'm Isabel. Today we've got lots of line craft to do that you will enjoy. So you could make a pasta lion or you could make a handprint lion. You can also colour in a lion and decorate it yourself. Whatever you're up to, please send us a photo. So ask your grown up to email it to us to children at kingdomfaith.com. And if you do that by Tuesday, we'll be able to share with everyone else in the video next week. So have a fab week and we'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye. Good morning, J247. It's great to see you again today. This morning I've got five fun facts for you about lions. Yes, lions, the king of the jungle. Now, fact number one is almost all wild lions that you can find in the world today are found in sub-Saharan Africa. Africa below the Sahara Desert, that is. The only other place you will find lions is in Western India. That's the only two places on earth you're going to find them wild. Western India and Sub-Saharan Africa. You're going to need to go on an adventure if you want to see one in the wild, my friends. Fact two is that lions are very big cats. Did you know that an adult male and an adult female lion will weigh almost twice as much as an adult female or male human being? Lions can weigh up to 20 for female or 30 stone. That is enormous. That is definitely more than your parents weigh, my friends. I can tell you that for sure. Fact three is probably connected to fact two because it is that lions are big eaters. Did you know that when they eat, a lion can eat up to a quarter of their own body weight in a single meal? But we have to bear in mind, they only eat a couple of times a week. So it's not that they do that every day. It's just when they eat, boy, do they eat. <laughs> Fact four is that lions hunt for their food and they do this most effectively because they hunt in packs, they hunt in teams. Now, lions like to do their hunting at night because it gives them an advantage over their prey because they're harder to be seen. They also enjoy hunting during storms because it's doubly hard to see or hear them coming. How about that? Cunning little things, aren't they? Well, cunning big things. Fact five 
is a very unusual one. Unlike all other big cats, lions like to live and work together in a group called a pride. They are also the only cat species known to roar together. Even the youngest lions join in the roar. Well, at least the meow. <laughs> the roar helps mark out their territory and it can be heard up to five miles away. That's incredible, my friends. The lions are a big family unit, a pride of lions. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed these five fun facts, my friends, and why not discuss them in your groups later on to see which was your favorite? As for now, it's time for us to go and see Dave. I'm sure he's got a thing or two to say about lions. I'll see you next week, my friend. Salut! Mwah! Good morning, Jay247. Thank you for joining us again. And thank you, Pierre, for those brilliant five fun facts about lions. I love lions and I really enjoy going to the zoo to see the big cats and especially things like lions and tigers. Ooh, I think it's, it's amazing to see great big animals and now that lockdown restrictions are easing a bit, it's a bit easier to go out to the zoo and places like that, isn't it? Well, at least if you can book in online before you go. <laughs> anyway, there's a few things that really stand out to me about the lions. And to help us remember those things, we're going to need our Craft Along worksheet and we're going to need our Bibles. Have you got your Craft Along worksheet and Bible? Looks like I haven't got mine. I'm going to put 10 seconds on the clock. Let's all go get our Craft Along worksheet and our Bible. See you in 10. Okay, here is my Craft Along worksheet and here is my Bible. Just pop the Bible down because I don't need it quite yet. Here on the sheet, we've got a few reminders for some things. So Pierre's given us five fun facts. Did you catch all the five fun facts? Did you, do you remember them? Which was your favorite? One, two, three. You can discuss that in your groups later. It'd be interesting to find out which one you thought was the best fact about lions. I love the fact that lions live in groups. The collective noun for a group of lions is a pride of lions. So there's this group of lions. Because they live in a group, they, they can hunt as a group. And when the lions hunt as a group, well, they're basically unstoppable. Think about it. Lions are the second big cat anyway. I mean, they're second only to tigers. They're an enormous beast. They're twice the size of a human male or female adult. Uh, they're, they're very big. They're the only predator out there that's capable of taking down an elephant. Like, think about it. They're massively strong. So when they work as a team, they are unstoppable. And they have that collective roar. Do you remember what Pierre said about that? That when they want to sort of give a shout out to remind everyone else who's in charge to maybe help the younger ones find the pride again if they've wandered off. Their roar, the oldest to the youngest, all join in and they roar at the same time. And that could be heard from five miles away. So they have this real togetherness, a real bond. And when they hunt, like for hunting an elephant or, or, a, or anything really, they, they each have a role. And the role helps them identify what they're going to eat tonight, chase it and catch it. And because they work as a team, they're able to send one lot of lines out to tire out whatever they're going to eat. And then another lot of lines out to actually go and catch it afterwards. Um, but they all benefit. They all benefit from the catch that they then get. They are basically unstoppable. So rather than working as individual very strong lions, they work as a, as a, a whole unit, almost like a body. So rather than almost seeing one line, uh, one, one collection of lions or lots of individuals, you see one big one almost. So the pride, the, the collection of lions is as if it is one. Now, does that idea of 
lots of things being separate but actually being one remind you of anything? I think it should do. And to help us remember what I think it should remind us of, uh, let's ask Harrison for this week's memory verse. Harrison, can you give us today's memory verse, please? Hello, I am Harrison. Today's memory verse is, we all are many parts of one body, and we all belong to each other. Romans 12, verse 5. Thank you, Harrison. Yes, the Apostle Paul writing in the book of Romans says that we are, are supposed to act like those lions, that we're not supposed to be lots of different individuals working all over the place, but we're supposed to come together and act as one body, as one unit. He calls us the body of Christ. We're supposed to, like those lions, have that collective rule that we come together and other people can be drawn to the sound. Hmm, from the youngest to the oldest. Harrison read to us from the book of Romans, and he read from Romans chapter 12. And I think it would be great today in your groups to also read this passage here in Romans 12. Read through it in your group and discuss at the same time your favourite line fact and see how you can get your line fact to reference what's going on in the text here of Romans 12. So let's read, chat and pray. Let's read Romans 12 together. Let's chat about Romans 12 and the lions and then let's pray for one another. We're a body. We're supposed to be together. We belong together. Maybe there are people today who we haven't seen for a long time because of lockdown things and the church not physically being able to meet at the moment. Let's pray for one another in this time and let's strengthen one another, whether that's people in your own family or people in other families that you have not seen. Let's pray for each other for strength in this time. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back everyone. I hope that you had a good time in your groups. I hope that you got to read, chat and pray together, reading Romans 12, chatting about Romans 12 and the five fun facts and praying for our friends and family, friends maybe even that we've not seen for a while. It's great to look out for one another. We need to be that one body that supports one another and fights for each other, especially in times like this when life is hard, let's be honest. Now, there's loads of great lion craft for you to do today. Isabel's already told us how and where to find it. Uh, I hope that you have a great time doing it and I cannot wait to see the photos of what you produce next week. Remember just to send them to children at kingdomfaith.com by Tuesday and we'll include them in the video for next week. Thank you so much for joining us again today and we look forward to going on another adventure in God's animal kingdom next week. See you soon. Grace and peace. Bye.